same exact exercise again. This is now a supinating version, okay? So the difference between a supinated and a supinating version is the supinated version that we've seen before, um, you don't change your grip whatsoever, okay? You've got a straight bar and you pull in, your hands are facing, the, your palms are facing the ceiling the whole time. The difference now is that Kim's gonna still have the stirrup handles, okay, attached to the cable, um, and as she rows, she's gonna start with her hand positions in a pronated hand position, meaning her palms are facing down. Okay. As she rows, she's going to lean back, and as she rows, she's going to twist and turn her hands so that they're facing underneath her. Okay. I'd say you want to be a little bit more supinated there, Kim. Okay. So lean forwards and row back, and your hands, your palms want to be facing the ceiling. Yeah, perfect, good, cool. And then come all the way back. Yeah. So you see the difference in this one is that she's now rotating her wrists and her hands as she's rowing. This is going to be a much smoother uh, pathway for your shoulder to move through. Um, a little bit of a tip, a little bit of advice on this one is that you want to start with your hand position off center slightly, okay? So come all the way back to the top, Kim, relax there. And Kim's hand positions, they're not quite in the middle of the syrup handles, they're slightly towards, uh, towards the middle, uh, towards the middle, sorry, they're slightly closer together, okay? That's going to make it a little bit easier to come into that pronated position at the top. And when you come all the way down, it's going to make it a little bit tougher to hold that supinated position at the bottom. Perfect.